All right, and up next, we got Justin Taffa facing off against Jared Vandera. Taffa coming in here with the 4 and 2 record, 27 years old, 6 foot with a 74 inch reach. The comeback on Jared, he's 11 and 5, 29 years old, 6 4 with the 80 inch reach. So he's definitely going to have the, the experience, the height, and the reach on his side. Uh, coming on, uh, coming back here on Tafa's uh, record, he is coming off of what some people are calling the fight of the year performance against Carlos Felipe. I do not think that is that. People are losing their mind out there with that shit. But it was a great fight. He did go out there, and I, I thought he personally won against Felipe. But Felipe's, you know, showing that he's a, a decent heavyweight, got decent cardio and hands as well. Um, so for Tafa to go out there and you know go 15 min minutes with them shows that he does got a good gas tank and can go the full uh, 15 minutes if need be. Uh, he didn't get him out of there or, or land anything crazy that you know completely wobbled him. So um, I don't know how much uh, much power or how much accuracy he's having with those uh, strikes and whatnot. It was nothing like the fight against he had against Juan Adams where he knocked him out. But Tafa's real green, man. Uh, he's coming out of New Zealand. again. I think he fights over there at the City Kickboxing Boys. But he's just real green, man. You can tell he has some kickboxing background. But, yeah, I, I, I don't like this fight too much. Uh, the comeback on Jared, he's fighting out of Dan Henderson's uh, camp over there. And he's solid. He's been fighting out of, he, I think this is his second, or first fight. He's coming off his first fight in the UFC. And before that, he had a fight in the Contender Series. And both those fights... Man, he got kind of rocked in him. Oh, yeah, his last fight he lost against Sergey Spivak. So, yeah, mm -hmm. he, he's gotten rocked in his last few fights, so his chin is definitely questionable to me. The only thing is, is he kind of goes into zombie mode and presses forward and looks for takedowns. And Tafa knows that. Uh, he knows that he's coming here for, for that. So Tafa is going to be aware, for the, aware of that. And, uh, yeah, listening to that in the interview, he knows that's the game plan. And he knows in his own words that Jared ain't about that life. So Jared's gonna come in here, look to pressure, look to get the ground or look to get the grappling going. Personally, I like to favor those uh, those fighters that do, and they seem like they have a grappling edge. And Jared, I believe, is a black belt. So yeah, man, I, I I'm gonna have to go in here and uh, I'm gonna pick uh, Jared Vandera. This is not a confident pick at all. This is a straight pure pick, and it'll be a fun fight for sure. This is one of the least anticipated ones for me, but. Yeah, man, I'm I'm taking Van Deer's uh, Van Deer's slow ass. All right, and uh, for for me, with uh, I'm gonna start off with Justin Taffa. Uh, you know, he, he Taffa does come forward in all his fights. He has good boxing. Uh, he's he, he's hard to have confidence in, though. Uh, after getting outstruck by Felipe, um, I, I'm just not too excited for this fight. Uh, like like you mentioned, uh, I'm not gonna lie. If Taffa does keep this standing uh, he may be able to get it done but i, I think um either way someone is someone's probably going to get finished here because they're both just too sloppy um or we're going to be in for a three round boring fight um he, tafa one thing he does have you know have his four and two record all four of his wins are by knockout um for jared um he is fighting out of team quest so that's that's the one thing he does got on the side at least he got some good coaching um, uh, Vandera, the former LFA uh, heavyweight title challenger, uh, he did lose that fight, but uh, he is coming in with a big height and reach advantage. Um, but um, much of the tape I've seen of Jared is a, is a lot of the same thing. Um, he stands and throws, he clinches, occasionally he'll take you down. Uh, not the best cardio, uh, but both of these guys are, are lower level guys in my opinion. Um, I'm just not really, really high on, on either one of them. And th this is this is a, a literally a, a flip of the coin for me, um, but I am ever so slightly I'm gonna lean towards uh, Tafa on this one. The odds they have uh, Tafa at minus one eighty and uh, Vendera at plus one fifty. Uh, so the you know that's, it, yeah that's terrible. This is a straight pick 'em as it could be. This, yeah. Um, if anything, I would give Vendera a, a slight favorite, just uh, you know strictly off his experience, his experience. You know, his experience. He did fight a. Who's the the Renan guy that uh, tapped out for Doom and PFL? He didn't make it to the second round with him, so that's pretty much higher competition than anything Tafa's faced. So, yeah, yeah man, um, he they're all they're both slow. Jared is there to be hit. Tafa swings like a madman. He can knock him out in the first. This is a hard one to call, yeah. but I, I'm just gonna go with the grappler who I feel like is gonna go out there to try to implement that game plan, and he he knows what he needs to do and. 
you know, it might take one good not a good hit for him to wake up and start doing it. I don't know if it's going to be too late by then, but give me Vandera. Um, it's not a confident pick, straight pure pick, um, and, I, and that's about it, man. All right, so we're on opposite ends here. Uh, Tafa minus one eighty, Vandera plus one fifty. 